Hello and welcome to At Home with Mindy. It's the 12th of August. We went shopping today. Um, we went to Tesco's and we spent £47.56p. Which isn't too bad. There is a little bit extra from the butchers last Saturday that I've got out of the freezer to show you. But, um... These are the bits that wanted to come home with us. We've got the chocolate pillows. These were 115. These are Barry's, I think he must be his favourite biscuits, but they're 65p, so we've picked up two packets. Also 65p is the chocolate ones that we always get. Out of all the different types of chocolate biscuits, this is the type we always get. That's how I should have said it. Um, the mini rolls were one fifteen. We looked at their big swish rolls, but they're one pound forty. And Sainsbury's was only one fifteen last week, so we thought we'd just stick to the little ones. Uh, Miss Molly, I believe, were forty nine for these chocolate chip ones. We've just got the Neville's 45p wholemeal bread because it's not a long day, it's only till the 16th, I think that says. And we've got some white pitters. They're also quite short date, 19th. Got a bag of grated cheese because per kilo it's the best price. They still don't do the big ones of mature. And I'm not paying more for a smaller one per kilo, if you know what I mean. This will do for a while anyway. Um, I got the burger slices for 83p. I quite like just putting that in bread and butter without burgers or anything. I made the most gorgeous carrot cake on... What day did I make it? it? May have been Wednesday, so I used cream cheese for the frosting, and now we needed more, so I picked up two. So there'll be one for this week to make a carrot cake, and I don't know what I'm doing with the other one. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> oh, you could really feel that tickle in my throat. Then I've got some cooking bacon. This one you can see is all just mushed in, but it was over that or great big steak like pieces. I wanted this for chopping up anyway. Into I'm thinking of trying Connor with a rice dish with bacon in now that he eats rice. We've got the pizza pepperoni. Um what was oh that I think was bacon was 90 or 95p and did I say the cream cheese was also 83 this I think was one pound five might have been 115 uh, this was for a recipe I write things down in a notebook or it gets ripped out of the notebook and then I can't remember where I've put it but I did want it for something, I just can't remember what. But it is £1 exactly. And Carnation's one is twice the price. We've got the red kidney beans because I've used a tin. Um, we've actually got mint sauce this time. And it's kind of thick, so Aldi's one is really thin. But the other one... I. We accidentally got mint jelly last time. I'm probably going to have to use it on bread and butter making like a leftover chicken sandwich or something because it didn't mix very well with putting vinegar with it. So I tried adding it to gravy but that's not the best thing so I'm going to use it in sandwiches the other one. Um, it may have been 39p 
but this is for using in the sinks because if you put bicarbonate of soda and vinegar in your sink it helps clear the u-bendy bit so we've got that the worst sink is the bathroom one because obviously people like Barry shows his face and that in it and I think that's what blocks it up more than toothpaste um, 195 for black currant so this is like Ribena there's no apple in this one um, yeah I wanted that flavour uh, well, now we're on the frozen stuff I used all the big bits of fish in the freezer now so I've got this box for £2 I've got Mr Brain's meat product for £1.09 I need Barry and Connor eat those um, and Yuki I needed to get her some corn mints but for this weight in corn would have been two ninety five. I know she'll eat soya products because I used to buy dried soya mints for her anyway but that was two pound but it was on an offer of three of the plant chef items for the price of two so even though she didn't need them yet because she still got four in the freezer as in four separate burgers not four boxes the burgers are two pound twenty five so I paid for one box of burgers and the mince at £2 and this is the item we, I kind of chose it for free but I've paid 25p because those two are what I would have paid for so 4 50 and the mince would have been the free item because it's always the cheapest free but all of that just to get a bag of mince um, Yorkshire puddings were 48p I've tried making Yorkshire puddings I've been successful once the next time I don't think I had the oil or the oven hot enough because they they didn't rise as much so I turned the oven off and then they burnt we also got the McCain's lightly spiced wedges these were on club card for £1.25 if you look online Morrison's and Asda are both doing like some McCain products at four items for £5 making it £1.25 so they don't weigh much 650 grams but I thought that would be handy for a quick meal I have been making my own wedges recently ice cream because there's none in the house anymore the grand killed the grandchildren finished it for us we've also got a bag of frozen peas they were 78p that's 135 for £1.30 we've got I think it's a whole kilo uh, yeah one kilo of Brussels sprouts I'm tempted to cook some of these and try adding the bacon like you do at Christmas see if Connor likes that way as well um, then we've got a bag of sugar the cake making and coffees the sugar goes so quickly in this house and I use it for cakes the plain flour I've got a brilliant pizza base recipe uses yeast but it also just uses plain flour not bread flour that was 69 I believe um, we've got Connor's milk at 135 in Tesco's for the lactose free we've got a bottle of I've missed out a large section on I we'll do the milks first we've got normal milk at 145 and two soy milks at 50p they're for Yuki she doesn't have hot drinks so she doesn't go through it that often and if she doesn't want cereal she doesn't use it at all um, the bleach was 55p and this is their cheapest one and bleach is bleach 
as long as it actually it unless you buy the really thin stuff it should work whether it's a brand name or not oh sorry i just went to scratch my nose i'm gonna hit you lot instead atp for cotton buds we have literally two cotton buds left in the house it's a nightmare when it gets that low um, the Oral B toothpaste, it was one twenty one pound twenty five, and it's seventy five mils. But we thought we'd give that brand a go because we've got toothpaste in the downstairs toilet, but the upstairs bathroom has run out. Uh, the sponges were 43p. I just want to keep my cupboard really full of those because in December, which isn't that far away around, <laughs> they're the sort of things that I will forget to buy. The toilet roll is £2.19. The Sainsbury's one, the squares are slightly bigger, so you actually get more, even though it says the same number of squares, you're getting more surface area. But, um, Again, we've because we've got two bathrooms, I want to keep them both supplied. Uh, fresh vegetables, cucumber was 79. The carrots, I don't know if they've just come out of the lorry or something, but they all looked quite wet, but they've dried out since we actually picked them up. Um, I've got two bags of onions because they're 55p but my plan was to use at least a bag and freeze one bag freeze half the carrots with some celery so that you can make the base for bolognese and that you put the three vegetables together put them in the freezer then you've got them ready so the celery was 57 what were the peppers they were around one pound fifty they're all orange but they're all very uneven sizes so again most of those will probably go into the freezer and some mushrooms at one pound nineteen oh and a big bag of potatoes the all-rounders one pound twenty-five, and some of them they have dark skin, but they look dry and it's not manky or anything. So hopefully, some will be used for baking or homemade chips or that sort of thing. Because I really don't want to buy chips. I've brought the wedges more for the grandkids than us when they come round um, but that bit was £47.56p last Saturday because Saturday today but it was last Saturday um, Barry went to the butcher everybody ran back to their car because it's a mobile butchers and the rain apparently really came down but he was doing this is garlic butter flavour chicken it was fresh chicken breast three kilos for ten pound so he got two lots of the offers and i've split them off into roughly 500 gram bags so you put them in a bag and if you put greaseproof paper between the bags it just helps them separate because i have done it in the past when i've made pre-made meals so batch cooking I didn't put the paper between and they stick like crazy but those two we've already had two meals made out of it as well but it made 12 packets so for 20 pound but they are huge as well the, there's only two in there but yeah i thought i'd show you those so you know where the chicken is coming from in the meals of the week meals so if you include that, I've spent £67, so a bit over budget, but I had previous money from other shops. So that's everything we've got. 
um, but I just can't remember what I wanted to make cake wise apart from nicking a bit of the carrot for a carrot cake again um, yeah so I'm going to let you all go you can like if you like what I've brought or comment down below and you can subscribe if you want because the button is free and then you'll be able to see the next lot of food I buy or the meals that I make because I can't remember what meals I've made but I am getting better at not using convenience food so I'm trying to make a bit more from scratch but bye bye and love you all bye